So far we've seen how to create files, to create directories, to list the content of directories and to list the contents of files. Now what if we want to delete these files or directories? The way to do that is using the rm command to remove files or the rmdir to remove directories. Now note that the rmdir works for empty directories. Here's a few examples that we're going to be seeing practically in a second. rm slash temp slash test file will remove the test file under the directory temp. rmdir slash temp slash test dir will remove the empty test dir. So if the directory is not empty, we won't be able to remove it using this command. To remove a directory that's not empty, we need to use the minus R option, which stands for recursive. And we use that with the rm command. And it would look as such, rm minus r slash temp slash test dir to remove the test dir if it's not empty. We also saw the minus i option with the copy command. Do you remember what it was? It stood for interactive. And we use that so we don't accidentally overwrite files when we're copying. The same goes for removing files. If we don't want to accidentally remove a file before Linux prompt us and ask us to verify, we can use the minus i switch. For example, rm minus i for recursive minus i for interactive slash temp slash test dir will remove the test directory and everything inside the test directory, but only after Linux asks us to verify. And last but not least, the rm minus rf minus r again stands for recursive and the f in this instance stands for force. And we use that in case a directory, for example, is being used by a program and we cannot normally access it or delete it. If we want to force the delete, regardless of what program is using it or what other user is using it, we can use the F command. Let's see how that looks like. I'm going to open the graphical interface so we can also visualize what's happening on the command prompt. And I'm going to go to the temp directory. Inside the temp directory, as you can see, there's the dir, test dir, and a bunch of other files. On the command line, I'm going to cd into the temp directory. And I'm going to start with the easiest option by removing one of the files. I'm going to type rm and the file name. In this case, it's test file and hit enter. And as you can see on the right hand side, test file is now gone. Now I want to remove a directory. In this instance, it's an empty directory, which is the test dir. To do that, I can use the rm dir space test dir. Let's try that with the dir1. If you remember, dir1 had another directory inside it. And now Linux is complaining. It's telling me that directory is not empty. I cannot remove it. What do we do in this instance? We use the rm command with the minus r option. And there we go. It's gone. So in this instance, we remove dir1 and whatever was inside dir1. Now let me try the interactive option with test file 2. We get back a prompt asking us, do you want to remove the file? I'm going to answer yes. And the file is gone. And last but not least, we saw the force option. Let me go into the documents directory on the right hand side in the graphical interface. And to do that on the command prompt, and this is where the tilde is useful. Remember when we addressed this in the earlier sections? I'm going to try rm minus rf tilde, which stands for my home directory, and document slash the directory name. Using the minus rf option, I'm forcing the removal of this directory in case it's being used by another user, for example, and now it's gone. Pretty easy stuff, straightforward. Let's move on to the next section.